folks, welcome back to Betty's channel. She's doing the do as always. Please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment down below. Tell us what you all think, share with your friends, hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming. On today's video, I'm finally getting round to because because the weather's nice. So I want to tackle something that's been outstanding for a while because of the weather, and it's this scrape that I did at Christmas on a site on a gate in North Wales because it was dark and it was half five and I just did it. Anyway, sunglasses are on, they're also safety glasses. <laughs> See what I did then? So let's have a look at this scrape, shall we? As you can see, it's quite a deep scrape. Now, I can't knock it out from inside the van because there's clad in there, I don't want to dismantle everything. So I'm going to try and pull it out best I can. The scrape starts there, goes in a bit there, goes in a lot there, right to this panel joint here. So I'm going to have to try and pull it out with something. I bought a kit off eBay. Let's have a look at that. Right, this is the kit. It's uh, made by a company called Super Pot. It's basically a puller outer kit. When you put pressure testing, that's good if you lock your keys and you can attach it to that pump. And you can, uh, it's a pump wedge. Okay. There's all sorts of stuff in here. You must think I'm going to look through instructions and glue gun. Plug in one, so I might need an extension lead. All sorts of suction pads and things. Quite a comprehensive kit, to be fair. I think what I need to do is look at the instructions. It's like a pulley, glue sticks. That's to stick the little widget. I think it's them. Little widgets onto the uh, dent, and you pull it out. It's quite common. I think I'm about 40 quid off eBay. And comes its own with this own little carry bag. Hammer. Oh, yeah, I like this kit. I think I might find the link and post it on. Them are the, the little panel puller thingies that you glue on. Anyway, this is, that's the puller. That's the, that's the beast. Usually you're on a panel beater about 40 years ago. Yeah. So the kit the, the cut the stuff you get in the kit is pretty impressive actually. So I'll be giving them a bit of a recommendation. Anyway, let's uh, sand down the dent and uh, crack on with it. So this is the ele electric DA I'm using. I think DA st stands for duck's ass. <laughs> I don't know what it stands for actually. That scratch there, I'm going to leave for the time being. I'm just going to DA that little dent and that big dent. See we get them. I think my DA is knackered. That's doing absolutely knack all. Nothing. So I'm going to get my little Dewalt sanding machine out. giving it a bit of a sanding down now that spot there is the side rib of the van now I, it, I, can't, I can't come in more higher than that I, I mean more than that so that I'm going to try and tap that in a bit just tap it a bit flat and then pull out this bit here along here 
this bit where it's a bit wobbly because it should be quite you shouldn't be able to do that really but that's come out because that's gone in so in order to, i need to pull that out and that should be a bit more solid because what what's happened is it stretched the metal there's another rib there so it stretched the metal now you could shrink it by putting a blow torch on it and um flattening it out but i don't really want to do that so i'm just going to tackle this bit hopefully if i put a couple of pins there and yank it out it should work and then you've got to fill it in that's that's quite a deep dint as well so let's break out the new equipment and see what happens there's different colored glue sticks and i'm reading the instructions it says transparent one which is that top one it's for japanese cars that have thin paint uh the black ones are for all different types of vehicles and then the yellowish ones are for ones with um better paint jobs well this is a forward so i don't know go for yellow ones let's put the glue stick in the gun switch it on and let it uh, warm up and then put it on the uh put glue on the little pads I think I'm going to use. What do I do with them? What do I do with them? I think I might use these. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick them on. They've got a round edge though. They're too wide. I don't know if they've got a round edge. They're going to, it didn't want it. Got different sizes. Try these first, see what happens. It says rub down the, the dent with alcohol after you've sanded alcohol wipes. Which I use Aldi floor wipes because there it is. Got five little tabs on, and you're supposed to leave them a couple of minutes for the set. And then you put that hook end of the puller on there and use a slide hammer like that to pull it out so yeah so it goes and if I can pull it past that rib we're on a winner perhaps I should have put another peg there We'll see. First time I've used these. In the 80s, back in the 80s when I was a panel beater, what we used to do with dints like this is drill a 1 8 drill into it and use a puller that had a, a screwed thread, like a um, self tapping screw thread that we used to screw into the metal work and then pull it out and then just weld up the hole afterwards or with a bit of brass. But yeah, times have moved on. If I'd had these in the 80s, sorted. Oh, it's like a little toffee hammer. I'm proper impressed with the kit, you get all sorts of stuff in the different pullers. You get like a little suction puller, like a, a what you would fit glass with. Suction that on and pull out that dent. I think that's for the alcohol. <laughs> I'll bring some of that later. I think that goes on the top of there. That screws onto the top of there, but I'll look at that in a sec. More pads. That must be for big dents. Not sure. And there's a little carry case for it. I am very, very impressed. I will put a link into the eBay shop if I can find it. I've had quite a while. And I've seen these, these pump wedge things. Uh, on YouTube where there's an American guy, he's a locksmith and he gets people back in, in, back into the cars and he puts this, this little pump pad sort of like down the side of the door like that then connects that, pumps it up and it just pulls the door out a bit where he can get like a, a want of a better excuse, like a, a coat hanger inside and he can hook open the door. How clever is that? 
So yeah, you get one of them as well. But that you can use. Like if I had a big dent there on the door, I could put that on the inside, pump it up, and it will push out the panel. Great. Oh, I love this kit. You get quite a healthy book of instructions. Different pictures and stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. That tea bag has gone to the end of the puller. And it just tells you how to repair all sorts of dents. And you get some different languages. So it's all good. In the hood, shows you how to do it. Pictures and stuff. There's a little suction thing I mentioned. Well, I'm somewhat different actually. <laughs> It's supposed to be like dent, um, paintless dent repair, I think, is some of the kit. But, I'm going to paint this obviously, because I'm painting it anyway. So, you can see the different levels of the pins, I think, just about. I've put them smack bang in the centre of this scrape. I'll leave them a few more minutes and see if we can pull it out. Well, they seem pretty solid. You can see the panel moving. So, let's get the dent puller on it. And see if it works. Well, that's pulled off three of the pins, so I must, I must need more glue. I'll let it sit a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, I can need to... Yeah, a bit longer. Just want to with a bit of white spirit, see if that helps. Put a few more on this time. Come on, put another couple there. There's a few more on there now. So I'm going to give them a good 10, 10 minutes to set. You can pick these off with a, your finger. <laughs> so it probably was the uh, white spirit I should have put on first of all. Always read the instructions, boys and girls. Attempt number two has just pulled all the pegs off. So I might try the black glue. See if that fares any better. Or it might be because it's actually in the groove and I need to put it there or there. Let's try that. It's not in the actual groove, it's on a flat surface. Let's see if that works. They are now all on a flat surface. So I will give them some time to set again. At the end of the day, um, <laughs> I can just fill up the uh, green with body filler. Don't have to be perfect. I'd rather try and pull it out though. Because I'm going to be using Amorite on it anyway. Oh, hmm. Well, let's see what happens in a bit. They've had about half an hour now. So I've been messing around with the washing machine because it stopped working. So, if I pull them and it doesn't work, I'm just going to sand it all back fill it and just have to keep filling it until uh, it gets flat again again it's pulling it's pulling metal and not coming off so let's give it a go with slide hammer that was an epic fail so let's try something else right attempt to number 12 teen that will go over that and I'll pump it, and that should spring out. That didn't work either. So plan F, fill it in. Mix up a bit of body filler using big boy body filler, not sponsored. So once that's hardened, I'll start rubbing it down. But if you look where my thumb is, you can see the gap I've got to fill. 
worse in some places than others, like that bit there. So mainly it's that. That's the uh, worst place. Yeah, so it's not bad. Once that's dry, I'll sand that down and put a second skim on. Good news is there's nothing wrong with my DA. Bad news, I still can't use it because apparently there's low voltage in the area, which is why I can't use the washing machine and get me chores done. No! That's the first coat rubbed down. Still got a bit more filler to do. Got a piece of wood again. Yeah, as you can see, still quite a bit of filling to do. Okay, this end, I'll live with that. So it's just really from there. To there. Let's get some mixed up. It's not looking the prettiest, but once it hardens, I'll smooth that down again. And it's a case of just putting less and less in the middle to build up the the filler in the um, scrape. <coughs> and then using that piece of wood, just make sure that there's no gaps. And when there's no gaps, it's reach. So it might take another two or three attempts yet, but the weather's all going to pork at the minute. There's been a power cut, so that's why all the alarms are going off. Just want to make it look something like I'm not like, want to make it showroom standard because the hammerite paint should cover any little imperfections. Right, that's the second coat rubbed down. Obviously, there's still a bit of gouges to fill out, but I've just drawn two pencil lines. Where I need to fill between to bring it out. So hopefully the third fill should be okay. Third filling, as you can see, it's getting smaller and thicker. <laughs> the power's still off, so I'm gonna use a power bank and try the DA, trying to get it a bit flatter. Or at least the DA I'll take the DA straight across there, it'll do this bit. And this bit, and it'll highlight any divots, dips, dimples, whatever you want to call them, in there. Okay. Hooked up the power bank, which is at 100, 100%, down 96, on the extension lead with the DA. So, I've not much body filler left. So, I'm going to do everything that isn't smooth, I'm just going to fill. And I'm just going to primer it for the time being and see what it looks like. So it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's going to be better than it was. So let's mix this the last lot, fill it, rub that down, and then prime it. That's the fourth lot of body filler on. I have no more now, so I'm going to try and rub that down as smooth as possible and then prime it. It's not going to look good, but once the black hammer is on, it'll be ready. Right, two quarts of primer on it. Doesn't actually look too bad in the sunlight. There are some dips still in it, um, but that'll do until I get some more body filler. Or I just paint it with amorite and then it's finished. I'm hoping I can get it painted in the next couple of weeks. Um, obviously this reflective strip will have come off <clears throat> and instead of just keying it with a some scotch bright I might just DA it as much as I can so it gets a deeper um, penetration let's say yeah not a bad day's work really on and off getting the washing done and stuff you know my chores so I'll let that dry for a bit and give it another coat. But that's the uh, almost finished article. So yeah, happy with that. I've run out of primer now, so that'll have to do for the time being. Like I said before, it doesn't look too bad. There you go. 
So what did I think of the uh, Den Power kit? Don't know. Well, There's probably doing something wrong to be honest. Um, comes with everything, like I've explained in the video. Reasonable for the money. Um, all the bits look decent quality, but yeah, I was probably doing it wrong. I probably didn't read the instructions, but anyway, I've got it for another time. Well, weren't that a nice video? Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, it's free. Drop a comment down below, tell us what you all think. Hit that notification bell so you get alerts when new videos come out. And above all, keep being what you do.